Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Excel importer feature of Airtable. So this was released in November 2020. With this new feature, we can now import Excel workbook or spreadsheets into Airtable. I want to emphasize that there is a limit as to the file size of the Excel spreadsheet that can be imported. It should not exceed 5 MB. Also in importing an Excel file, either we could import it as a new base or add it as a new table to an existing base. So let's start. We're now on Airtable. Add the base. Then click Import Data. Select Microsoft Excel. Then choose an Excel file that we need to import into Airtable. Select Files to Upload. In this case, I need a sample spreadsheet to be uploaded or imported. Open. Hit Upload. So there, we have successfully imported the spreadsheet. So this is now the imported base. See? This is the Excel spreadsheet that was imported. And this is how it looks like on Airtable. Still the same. So with this new spreadsheet, or with this um, new base we could or table, we could add additional fields. Like we could add attachment. It's a field. We could upload or select the spreadsheet where the data was obtained. We could also add the field created by or the created time. So we'll know when the record was created. So this is automatic. You could also add the field last modified time. And last modified by. Let's see, so also automatic. So this, I mean, this builds last modified time and last modified by are important because it enables us to track changes made on the sheet or on the record. So aside from importing Excel sheet as a new base, you could also import sheets to an existing base. So just hit this button could import another data. So let's try the same sheet. See? It's very easy. So we don't have an option to delete a specific sheet, like in this case. So what we can do, if we want to delete the entire base, we go here and click delete base. Oh, there. So it also, sorry, we could also delete a specific sheet or table. Like in this case, click here. So this would only delete this specific sheet or table and not the entire base. Now if you want to delete the entire imported base, we go here and select delete base. There, we have deleted the entire base. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new tonight. Stay safe and happy weekend.